Tomorrow there's an educational session and we're going to be talking about various immunotherapies for ALL, so there'll be a focus on CAR-T and also a discussion about uh, antibody therapies. Um, I'll be talking about our CAR T cell data, which is the CTL019 and now Kimraya data for acute lymphoblastic leukemia for ALL, the most common childhood cancer. And so the data there are getting a little bit more mature. We did um, a large single institution uh, study where we have fairly long follow up. We did a um, US multi site trial and now the registration trial, which led to the FDA approval of Kimraya back in August. And so we have data from all, all of these data sets. And I'd say that we've learned several things. First off, the data are fairly consistent, actually quite consistent, uh, both in terms of efficacy and really importantly in terms of safety between an experienced single center, our place, and a 25 center, 11 country international registration trial. So uh, in terms of feasibility of rollout of CAR-T, knowing that you could do this safely at scale across the planet was extremely important to us. So I think that that was great. Um, I think we've learned that um, 80 to 90 percent of patients will go into remission with this uh, therapy and it doesn't seem to matter how bad your leukemia is. Uh, that patients with a lot of leukemia, however, although they have the same remission rate, do have higher toxicity rates because with more leukemia, the T cells have to grow more and the immune system activation can be considerable and that toxicity, as everybody knows, is cytokine release syndrome. And so we've learned how to manage that. Uh, we have medications, especially tocilizumab, that control cytokine release syndrome and that's been adopted really across all CAR T cell platforms as the mainstay of controlling cytokine release syndrome. So all of that is pretty good news. Uh, now that we have one and two year data, we're seeing a settling out of uh, disease control at around 50, 60%, depending on the study. Um, and I think there is a prospect for patients having long-term disease control. The first patient that we treated in our CHOP study in 2012, still in remission. Um, so we do have the prospect for long-term disease control without bone marrow transplant. And for me, that's really important because I'm a bone marrow transplanter and I'm looking for a replacement for transplant because of the toxicities. So these are all the issues that we uh, have been talking about. I think from the field standpoint, of course, how is 2018 different from 2017? And that is, we now have three FDA approved products. So yes, Carter for lymphoma, Kim Raya for ALL, and Kim Raya for lymphoma. And so uh, having those out as FDA approved and commercially available, that's a whole new landscape that didn't exist before Kim Raya was approved for ALL in August of last year. We're gonna be seeing approvals this year, very soon I hope, uh, in the European Union. Uh, for both Kim Raya and Yes Carta, so things are moving along, I think, in a very exciting way.